This is the Nightwolf howling at you, and today we're going to be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified series, David L. Bazooka Katzenbogen. We have in front of us both the Tiger Force and the Standard Version. Ironically, the Tiger Force, Tiger Force variation came out before the Standard one did. Well, let's go ahead. Let's actually start with the Standard Version first, in this case. Uh, oh, although, one thing to note real quick, they did use the same artwork, just differently painted here on the corners. If you've ever watched the original G.I. Joe cartoon series from the 80s, Bazooka is not exactly the brightest bulb in the bunch. But he is a pretty cool looking figure. Let's tear this sucker apart. Equipment box and plastic tray, or sorry, cardboard tray. We shall release him from captivity. Oh man, and he seems like he's going to be one of those figures that's going to be really hard to try to pose. Let's go ahead and open up his equipment, and then we'll deal with the issue of him not wanting to stand up. Dang, look at the size of that equipment. Alright, well let's take a look at the equipment first. We have his bazooka. Not sure why that comes off of there. Oh. Huh. I guess I need to read up on bazookas to see how they actually work. We got these separate missiles. We have this one here that has kind of a shark mouth painted on it. We've got one with a hazard look, which sadly they apparently did not do a very good job uh, lining up. And the other two are just kind of like this standard looking green. They fit in the backpack. Like so. Steel reinforced in the back. Guessing that's not going to be very comfortable. And they should actually sort of slide into the bazooka itself. Although I'm going to say you probably don't want to push that all the way inside there. You may never get it out again. Take a look at Bazooka himself. Oh. He does have a helmet also, which comes with a nice deco. Check out that mustache. He's got the standard G.I. Joe articulation going on here, although his upper torso does seem to be a bit bigger than a lot of them. He's got kind of like that extra shoulder part, it looks like. Similar to Sergeant Slaughter. We've got oh, chest crunch. Well, ball joint. Waist. We've got the butterfly joint in the arm. We got the up and down. We got the bicep swivel. We got the double jointed elbows. Although the plastic is not matched very well on his arms and elbows. I wonder why that is. Because that looks kind of terrible, to be honest. Hmm. 
His wrists rotate. He has an up and down swivel or on his wrists. The drop hips, which allows, of course, the out. Ooh, that's going to break. Thigh swivel, double jointed knee, boot cut. Sw uh, Mm. the ankle articulation and the little swivelly thing there. I wish the standard G.I. Joe f or the normal classified figures Came with stands like the retro card backs do. All right. One thing to know is too, he's got a little bit of padding here on his bazooka. I would say to help hold it in place. Let's see. Oh man, this is not easy to try to pose him. Oh. And the back of the bazooka fell off while I was trying to do this. I kind of want... I know, I know there's got to be a purpose for that. And I, I'm guessing, honestly, the purpose for that is probably so you can retrieve the bazooka missiles afterwards. When you get them stuck in there. There we go. We can position Bazooka as if he's getting ready to launch. Let's go with the yellow painted one. Kind of makes you wonder how... Uh, I wonder if this is how they actually carry this kind of stuff in the field in the real military. I imagine that they probably don't have a backpack with the uh, missile staying out like that. I, I just feel like that would be a bad idea. I wonder if they... You know, I have them down like that, but can you put them... No, it doesn't look like you can actually fit them in there in the other direction. Overall, the deco looks pretty good on him. Um, you know, he's got the separate belt, his little 14 on the shirt, on his jersey. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Tiger Force variation. The Tiger Forest version comes with all the same equipment, which I guess makes sense because it came out first. He still has that weird discoloration in the plastic between his bicep or his arms and his elbows. I wonder if that's on a lot of them with the flesh toned uh, arms. I'll have to take a look later. If I think of it, I'll mention it in the description below. You have that same beautiful face with the same mustache. His shirt is white with blue and orange striping and then the tiger striped camouflage pants this time. It looks like on my copy the knee over here is pretty loose. Same articulation as the previous release. 
or the previous look at, and that's actually the later release. His helmet this time is decoed in this orangish brown color. Like with the standard release. The missiles all fit inside the backpack again. In this case, we will swing the launcher over his shoulder so he can carry it. Although, to be perfectly honest, that would probably dig into your arm quite a bit and hurt. Overall, they, uh, they have the deco in the same places on both figures aside from the missiles um, you know stripes on the, the jersey are on both jerseys the numbers painted the same way on both just you know different colors belt buckle although we do have the extra tiger tiger striped deco on the legs the bazookas are the same the color is just slightly different between them though, doing more a darker green and more of an olive green on the other. Overall, the bazooka figure looks really nice. I think uh, it's going to be a good one to have in the displays. Um, Overall, I do like the look. Uh, just a thought with the Tiger Force and the Python Patrol when it comes to the redecos. Uh, I want to say that I saw a commercial for it um, on YouTube that showed where I think the basic concept for the Tiger Force and Python Patrol were Cobra and G.I. Joe basically stealing vehicles from the other side and repainting them for their own use. You know, so you would have something like the Cobra Rattler was repainted as a Tiger Force vehicle. I can't think offhand of any of the of what vehicle they showed for Cobra with um with the Python Patrol. It might have been the Sky Striker, but I don't remember. It was a while since I watched the video. Probably should have done that before I uh, did this. Oh well, I'm not opposed to calling myself an idiot for thinking of things after it's too late to do anything about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for your time. Peace and love.